so they're uh, they're actually mating right now. We we tried to to make sure that we'd see the start of the copulation, but of course, it always happens when you're not looking. Hey guys, my name's Olga, and welcome to Basty Face. So I actually moved uh, the big log that she had in there out of the enclosure so we could see. Uh, but you can see how much smaller the boy is than the girl. So this is my really old lady. She's actually the first tarantula I ever got. I think she's about oh, 13, 14 years old. Um, but the boy is like, he's only about four or five years old. Unfortunately for him, he becomes an adult and uh, he transfers his sperm. And then that's pretty much uh, his use done, and then he dies. A lot of people think that they always get eaten by the females, but uh, in my experience, almost never have I seen them crunched. Oh, look at that, he's done. He'll actually copulate with her many times, so he'll pat her again. There you go, he's going in for another one. Just a quickie. Death by snoo snoo. Death by snoo snoo, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, he's a... He's doing his best because it could potentially be his last month on Earth. Whereas she'll last another 15 years or so mm -hmm. quite easily. Oh, he's really into it. So what he's doing right now, he's propping her up with his legs and uh, he's reaching his pedipalps, which are those extra legs at the front. So she's got her pedipalps there. Mm -hmm. His ones are actually reaching all the way underneath her, just under her abdomen, and depositing the sperm into her. So uh, she'll actually store the sperm in there, potentially for a year or, or two, until she molts again. And during that time she can lay uh, egg sacs and basically fertilise her own eggs with that sperm. So she doesn't need the man anymore. Especially when they just really don't want to get onto a human hand because they can taste that it's human. No. Uh, this one was actually sent to me by a friend, so she's not, she hasn't been with me very long. I flinch partly because a tarantula bite would hurt, but also partly because I need to make sure she's held over her enclosure in case she does fall. So that's actually the biggest risk with these guys. If they fall, they probably won't survive the fall. They're so heavy. Hey man, is that, a, is that a high five from a tarantula? Hey little dude. Well, girl. girl. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the dudes generally don't live very long. And uh, while they can be leggier, they are, they're generally not so thick. And when she pauses like that, I get nervous. Oh, this is a strenus, yeah. So this one's, these guys are known for their good temperament compared to some of our other tarantulas. I'll show you a, an ill-tempered tarantula in a little bit. Is that South American? No, no. So all of mine are natives. Wow. It's actually illegal to keep exotics in Australia. I think the only place I've seen was the reptile park. Yeah. They've got an exception. 
from Exemption. some of the zoos. Yeah. Not many of them bother, but I know Perth Zoo does. I guess Lord House are exotic. Melbourne Zoo does have a whole bunch of exotic tarantulas. Melbourne Museum, sorry. Let's put her back before she decides to go mm -hmm. crunch. She's so good. She is really good. Like I said, Strenus are like well known for being particularly good. Why don't we get the Kudabul out? She's a bitch. Oh, the girl. Yeah. See if I can get her to rattle. So you can see she's a lot browner. So she's actually close to molting. So she was supposed to have an egg sack for me this year. Oh. But uh, she's been really, uh, really difficult. I think she'll just shed her skin instead of instead of actually cooperating and giving me an egg sack. Let's see. I gave her a cricket earlier. So when a tarantula feels cornered or threatened, they don't move at all. No, that's not what they do. She's actually being really, really placid at the moment. So, I swear they just changed day to day. <laughs> no, no, this girl, like this morning, she was uh, rattling. She gave me a really good hiss. So these guys are called... Oh, we'll get her out then. Come on, if you're going to be like that, come say hi. And you can see on the end of her... Oh, please don't bite my fingers. On the end of her abdomen, she's got those spinnerets. They actually stick out lots further than the huntsman that we saw so they're elongated articulated spinnerets so she can move them like she moves her legs very cool yeah. you can see all the hair has worn away on her back on the carapace she's like ew gross ew get it off me oh my god a human yuck <laughs> Yeah, so these guys are, are known as Goliaths. They're actually really closely related to the last one we saw, the Strenus. Um, not quite as friendly. A lot of people buy these thinking that they'll be really gigantic like the overseas Goliaths. But they are not. I am, on the other hand, really excited for her to molt. Because once she sheds her skin, she'll uh, potentially gain a couple of centimeters and definitely get much thicker around the legs. Oh my god. She just won't sit still. God. Oh god. Um, who else do we have? A feather leg tarantula. Looks it's another species from Central Australia. So she's uh walking around on her tippy toes for some reason. Hopefully she'll eat that cricket soon. So I just chucked that in there for her. She's a lot furrier than the other one we just saw. Uh, so, quite a few adult breeding females. We've got a whole bunch of babies over there as well. 
we've got some desert species of tarantulas as well. So the ones that I've shown you so far uh, were actually rainforest. And this is from Central Australia. So she's actually got a cricket in her mouth right now. See if I can get her to lift herself up. Can you see that? Yeah. She's quite a calm girl. And she's busy eating. She's not going to get distracted. Yum, yum. So her venom's actually turning that cricket to mush internally. She pumps in enzymes, turns it into mush, and then she can suck it back in easily. There you go. Oh, there you go. She's doing the happy dance. Mm -hmm. She's doing her dance. Yeah. Look at her. So cute. Yeah, so they have super elongated, super mobile spinnerets. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please like and subscribe. Uh, the more followers we get, the more likely we are to put in more episodes. Please tell us in the comments what you want to see next.